REMAX salutes Trudy Wilson. REMAX Eastern Kawartha Area Real Estate, Bridge North, Ontario. For parents, taking care of sick kids is a journey all on its own. Trudy Wilson, a REMAX Realtor from Bridge North, Ontario, knows the strength and endurance it takes to make that journey and has committed countless hours to making it easier for those on the road. Her own daughter, Lauren, died from birth injuries at two days old, and in honor of her brief life, Trudy created the Lauren Taylor Fund to help other children and parents dealing with unexpected injury, illness, and loss. Her next fundraiser was to swim the entire length of the Trent Severn Waterway. Before she embarked, her friend Bruce gave her a stone engraved with the word miracle to help her succeed. Even if it's just one child that is saved and, and one family that is spared the grief of losing a child, then this whole swim was very worth it. She finished the swim and raised $32,727. Trudy continues to raise money for this cause and looks forward to being able to make a difference and to encourage others to join the journey to help sick kids. REMAX salutes Pat Werastiak, REMAX Associates, Winnipeg, Manitoba. It was on his 60th birthday that Pat Werastiak, a REMAX agent from Winnipeg, Manitoba, met a young man named Austin Sanders. Went out for a walk with the dogs and I saw a big tent in the woods. He was prepared to be there for the winter. 20 years old, suffering from moderate Asperger syndrome, Austin had been turned away from homeless shelters because of his condition, and his lack of a permanent residence meant he was unable to receive government aid. All of a sudden, light bulbs going on in my head, like, how can I help this guy? What can I do for him? Pat rallied the community around the intelligent, soft-spoken boy he met in the woods, giving Austin food and furniture and a roof over his head. With mental illness, it's hard to help an affliction that we can't see. Pat continues to help any way he can, whether it's by raising funds for people suffering from cancer, giving to the homeless or the hungry, or the annual fundraisers for local children's hospitals. Pat gives freely of his time and energy to help the people in his community. Try and give back what I can. Remax salutes Jack Ruth, Remax Blue Chip Realty, Yorkton, Saskatchewan. Every morning before heading to his job as the general manager of Remax Yorkton in Saskatchewan, Jack Ruth heads to a local coffee shop and chats with the people there before starting his day. Over time, Jack got to know one of the baristas. She was a single mother of two small children. And the difficult thing for her, of course, was that she was away from her children. But she was trying to do something about that. She was going to the local community college in hopes of getting a nine to five job where she could spend her evenings with her children. Despite her ambition, she struggled with one big thing. Because she had no access to dental care, her teeth were rotten. Jack called a friend who was a dentist and set up everything needed so this woman could have her teeth fixed. The only request from Jack was that he remain anonymous. Weeks later, he felt a tap on his shoulder from someone behind him in line. He turned around and saw a beautiful smile. It was her. To this day, she has no idea who helped fix her teeth. For Jack, it was just another way to practice the values he brings to both work and life good service, gratitude, and selfless generosity. Remax salutes Melanie Gallia, Remax, Fort McMurray, Alberta. It was a beautiful morning, and by 11 o'clock, that's when the clouds started to roll in. I just knew that we were gonna have to go. In May of 2016, the Fort McMurray wildfire tore across the Alberta landscape. 80,000 people were forced to evacuate. Over 2,000 buildings were destroyed. At the height of the disaster, Melanie Gallia, an Alberta Remax realtor, and her family were evacuated north of Fort McMurray. I hope no one ever has to go through that in their entire life. They camped until it was safe to go back to their homes. We're all okay. We're all okay. Even though her circumstances were dire, Melanie decided to help wherever she could. She started a Facebook group. And it seemed like it was the only thing that I could do. It was about providing information and helping people that way. The group quickly grew to almost a thousand supporters. Melanie also started a phone app called Discover Fort McMurray to help encourage people to rebuild local businesses. I was coming home, hands down, I was coming home. It was a visceral response for me. It was like, no, I'm going home and I'm going home to help. Remax salutes Dan Peters, Remax Rocky View Real Estate, Airdrie, Alberta. Across the world, there are countries torn apart by war, corrupt governments and genocide and it can be hard to imagine what we can do to help. Dan Peters, a REMAX agent from Airdrie, Alberta, has been helping make a difference around the world. 
From humble beginnings himself, Dan has always felt that the gift of being a realtor and someone who has a home and family and is able to live in safety is a gift he can share. Working with Home of Hope, Dan travels to Africa two or three times a year to help orphaned children and widows, abandoned babies, and victims of assault and rape. He shares meals, help assesses the needs of communities, and gives microloans to families so that their children can go to school or they can start farms to feed themselves and their communities. Dan wants things to change in the world, and he's willing to travel across it to do what's necessary to be part of the change he wants to see. Remax salutes Ron Antelak, Remax Lifestyles Realty, Maple Ridge, BC. Communities are built by people who work together, volunteer their time, and help each other out. Communities are built by people like Ron Antelak. Being a realtor has many benefits. It's allowed me to do a lot of fundraising and different initiatives that I participate in. He volunteers his time at Cythera Transition House, Maple Ridge Pitt Meadows Community Services, Ridge Meadows Hospice Society, and Ridge Meadows Association for Community Living. Ron has helped expand two major wards of the Ridge Meadows Hospital and is the chair of the Ridge Meadows Hospital Foundation. Ron was recently awarded the 2016 Maple Ridge Community Foundation's Citizen of the Year Award and the Queen Elizabeth II Diamond Jubilee Medal for dedication and exceptional service to the community. He's also helped build new community programs to support youth suffering from mental illness. By being more than willing to lend a hand, Ron has become the heart and soul of his community. Remax salutes Ken Cowie, Remax 2000 Realty, Surrey, BC. Remax has been a proud supporter of organ donations across Canada since 2001. Around that time, one of their agents, Paul Bellhumer from the Guilford, Surrey office, found out he would need a kidney transplant. Faced with a seven-year wait time on the organ registry lists, Paul reached out to friends and family to see if anyone would be willing to be tested to try and find a match. What Paul didn't know was that Ken Cowie, his longtime friend and colleague at Remax, was in the process of getting tested to see if he was a candidate for transplant. It was on Paul's birthday that he found out Ken was a positive match for kidney transplant. He's the one who did all the sacrifice. I just said, okay, I'll take it. Six weeks later, we we're on the operating table and he's got three kidneys and I got one. Paul's still kicking and so am I. Across Canada, there are more than 4,500 people waiting for an organ transplant with over 1,600 people added to the organ wait lists every year. It's the best gift that a person can give.